everyone, this is Pinan. So we're here at Polkadot Decoded 2022 in Berlin. And I am here with the famous, one of the... <laughs> one of the Yuris from Remark. Which Yuri are you? I'm the Yuri P or Yuri Nonjul, <laughs> uh, CTO and co-founder of Remark. Big deal. I thought I'd just take a second to ask some questions and uh, try to steal some alpha from Yuri while we can. <laughs> For the people who don't know what Remark is, do you think you can just go over just a few of the benefits and what those benefits mean? Okay, so Remark is a standard of next generation NFT. It allows you to have multiple resources, not just one uh, image or picture or whatever. You can have multiple resources and you can add them after mint. There is no stability, so one NFT can own another NFT. So you can build a hierarchy like this or have a backpack that owns multiple items. And those items can uh, in turn own more items and then you can sell this backpack and all the three of uh, nested NFTs will go with it. And the third important leg is equipability. Once you have the nested items, you can then send a command to equip. The UIs can react to it to display it now as equipped. So you can have uh, gamification as way and it's easy use cases within metaverses and games. In my head, I always thought of nesting and equipability as fairly similar. Um, equipability cannot live without nestability. Different gloves in your backpack, like shiny gloves, then metal gloves, golden gloves, mm -hmm. but uh, you can equip only one of them by just putting bunch of gloves in your backpack, they're just nested, but not equipable yet. I see. So originally, it's built directly on Kusama using uh, something called System Remark Extrinsics. It allowed us to build it really quickly and deploy directly on Kusama, but it's getting sunset slowly because it doesn't allow us to do full spectrum of uh, things that we want to do with our standards. We also build the same standard uh, using KVM smart contracts that will originally be deployed on uh, Moonriver and also pilots like a plugins that you can uh, add to any substrate uh, parachain. There is also a team uh, Super Colonies building our standard on VASM smart contracts. And there is also a company called Gear. They're building it on a uh, different kind of uh, Rust smart contract. How would this apply to music? Does that mean like I could equip different tracks in different like bass or tenor or whatever? Yeah, yeah. It's uh, one of the exciting uh, oh, use cases. That's for pretty it. cool. You can think of it Different artists create their own drum loops. Other artists create their own synths and vocals. Wow. Put them all on a master track that doesn't play anything on its own. And then you start equipping. You like this particular drum wow. by this artist and synth by another artist. And, and you compose would, uh, music. That would like work this. for video too. Like if there's a filter that you create. Yeah, although in a browser uh, there is limited capability how you can mm. uh, render the video on the fly. Uh -huh. uh, but you, you don't have to use browsers. So you can use our standard is in some 3D game. 3D composability also. So you can have multiple uh, animated 3D models that you can uh, overlay on top of yeah. each other. We're basically in Canaria phase, which is the proof of concept of this idea. and. You recently did a land sale, which, how did that meet your expectations? It's more than we expected, yeah, especially in this market. Uh, We're at like 56% sold, maybe? I haven't checked for four days, but uh, something like that, over 50% now. People uh, like canary birds and they're excited <laughs> how they can use them. And uh, I think we did a good job with the map. It looks exciting, it's beautiful, and there is some interesting mechanics that uh, you can get with this land. So resource distribution, different rules of entropy and uh, biome also have certain effect on what you can do on this land. So. Yeah, it sounds pretty complicated though. Like going through that Git book, there's so much information to absorb. I don't know <laughs> half of it now. But imagine faster than I, than I can keep up, but by different uh, people in our team. Everyone's interested in when chunkies and when can we start playing these mini games in this land. Yeah, soon is a, is a popular word <laughs> in crypto, obviously. Uh, this year, the Sky Bridge itself, the game that we're building on Godot, uh, game engine doesn't have to be ready for chunky quests to be ready because uh, land is already on smart contracts we can already build mini games uh, simpler games where you can uh, once we mean chunkies you send them on your plots and then we'll add surveying and uh, resource mining a certain resource you can find on your land but the role will happen when you do the surveying so people cannot like uh, inspect contracts and uh, oh, I see and mm -hmm. best land yeah, that situation uh, yeah <laughs> so it's too early to say if you can mine them before before the sky bridge is ready. But surveying will be soon. Maybe not in the first chunky quest, but soon after. So the quests 
are the games? Yeah, you can call them that. So we want people to have fun as soon as possible. But for you just to sit on this land now and wonder uh, why did I buy it <laughs> and uh, what I'm going to do with it. That is important. Yeah, and we want to make it not just basic, but with some challenge and something interesting. Not just uh, DeFi that is uh, packaged like it's a game, and yeah, but actually it's just a uh, DeFi. So yeah. which there that's are right. a lot of examples like this. We want to focus on these small games, quick to build, but interesting. Canaria exists on Kusama right now, but it's not really having the smart contract capabilities. Mm -hmm. Now that we've recently seen EVM remarks starting to appear, what should we expect when it comes to migration of the Canaria birds so that they can interact with the land? Yeah, so migration will unfortunately have to happen. No one likes migration, no one likes bridges, but uh, by the amount of functionality you will be able to open up with smart contracts, uh, then it's a no-brainer to do it, of course. We hope we can do migration soon, almost the same time as Chunkies will be minted. So we have those three main legos that I described in the beginning. One of those is now production ready, which is multi-resource. And uh, both nesting and incubability are in heavy testing and auditing now. Mm. Once they're complete, we can do both. How uh, long is the testing phase? <laughs> depends if there are no uh, any major issues found. So we want to be uh, careful because once those contracts are ready, uh, yeah. all the different projects yeah, use them. Course. And then if we found some issues, then all of them will have to migrate to new contracts. Yeah. So we want to be right from the start. One, two, three months, I would say. It was Neon Crisis that launched the first multi-resource yeah, on EVM. Right. And they're the ones also doing, are they doing the testing for equipability as well? Uh, Cicada, uh, lead developer at Neon Crisis and lead developer of our EVM smart contracts, Remark smart contracts. Naturally, he he's the one who is testing equipability and uh, nesting. Okay. Since then, we hired two more uh, smart contract developers and they are now working even more than him because he has his obligation at Neon Neon Crisis. But, uh, we were super pumped and happy that he used them in production so quickly. Now people can see that they actually work. The Neon Crisis Mint is beautiful experience with the music, with the graphics. It's just a great upgrade from a uh, first version of Neon Crisis. There's a lot of confusion around what is CypherMod. We know that there's an association with Fala and Remark Team but it's neither Fala or Remark. Because we are building our own game, Fala is building their 3D metaverse called Fala World, also using our Remark 2 standard on a palette level, because they're helping us to build those palettes also. Uh, we will gain a lot of experience on building games and uh, connecting them to blockchain and they will gain in parallel. We like to build our code so it's not just targeted for one particular project and then you throw it away and so other people can reuse it. We already came through through this uh, difficult process. Uh, why someone have to repeat the same process? We want to package what we found out in a reusable toolkit, in collection of libraries and uh, mini tools and package it all under one SDK uh, called CypherMod. It, originally, it will be connecting, integrated uh, with most popular game engines like Unreal, uh, Unreal Engine and Unity and then expand uh, based on demand. Because Fala is uh, one of the greatest examples of decentralized computing, especially in Substrate, it's a no-brainer to use it for computing heavy applications uh, that are decentralized at the same time. Is this a platform for users and just artists to create or it's mostly developers? It's for developers, yeah. Okay. Uh, game development, studios or teams and I but they, they don't want to spend uh, extra resources on connecting it to blockchain so it's like the middleman of that <laughs> yeah yeah they don't need to yeah basically hire a team and uh, figure out how to connect it to different uh, either smart contracts or mm. a substrate one of the concerns that people had about this migration away from Kusama is that there may be some teams that are left stranded. Uh, do you have any thoughts on how you're going to either encourage them or support them on the way over or what happens if they decide I want to stay on Singular on Kusama? Yeah. You know? We will keep supporting extrinsic version of Remark at least for one year after we moved away to smart contracts and pallets. But because it's open source, anyone can uh, mm -hmm. run. The cool tool that we use is called Consolidator, which is partially off-chain uh, processing of Remark logic. Uh, that's one of the downside because part of it is off-chain, but anyone can actually run it. So it doesn't okay. have to be us. After one year, if there is a big demand, someone can take a torch uh, from us and continue supporting it. So once we have migration tool for Canaries, 
we can also provide it for other collections. Not many uh, people like migration because it's fractionalizing uh, community a bit. Yeah. Uh, we, re we recognize it very well with uh, Remark 1 to Remark 2 migration. There is not much we can do. It will happen. Uh, it will be painful for a while, but because smart contracts provide so much more um, in terms of you can make offers yeah. and auctions and it's it more safe. Sense. And uh, especially on EVM, you have all those tools, MetaMask and more DEXs where you can uh, swap your familiar tokens like yeah. Ethereum. So that means we can more easily bring collectors and artists from EVM uh, world, right. from Ethereum and OpenSea. That should mean that for artists, it's more beneficial because they can... Uh, wider audience. Yeah, yeah, wider the audience, exactly. So hopefully this is enough incentivized for artists to, to migrate. Here it's all on smart contracts, so it should be more seamless, more safe. So hopefully uh, it's going to be better. Now about supporting artists, is, there is a lot of talks now because we have this composable and multi-resource NFTs coming. A lot of collectors are focusing uh, just on those new NFTs and those artists that just like create art, they do not interested in uh, something yeah. more fancy, they just like creating art. They're yeah. great artists, we love them. Because of them, Singular is so popular yeah. uh, and their worry is that uh, now no one's looking at their art. So there are internally talks how we can support it, we can have filters to hide. Uh, um, mm. Composable, I only see just pure oh, art. Cool. We want to see separate section just for great art. There's different curation methods we can uh, have. Invite only like a super rare uh, or like a foundation kind of marketplace. Mm. Like a curated Yeah, of its like, a, like a fork of singular basically. Yes. We also form a team now uh, internally who will uh, run regular interviews with our artists who feel left out just to get their struggles, their worries mm. and uh, see how we can support them. So once we collect more feedback, hopefully we can can uh, do something about it. So Fantastic. we recognize it. Uh, that's that's the main thing. <laughs> it's uh, on the mind. That's really uh, comforting to hear, I'm sure, for a lot of artists. I love uh, artists because uh, it's so reward. One of the most rewarding things is see struggling artists uh, coming to um, a yeah. uh, world of NFT. It's suddenly, uh, people recognize uh, their talent and uh, appreciate it. And it's really rewarding for everyone. Yeah. Uh, so we want to continue this. You're launching on Moon River right now for the Sky Breach mm -hmm. sale, but are you planning on going to Moonbeam or other EVM? The Canary and Sky Breach will stay on Moon River. That's okay. uh, set in stone. There are some rumors. I don't know if it's alpha. It's uh, rumors. If it's true, <laughs> there might be some L2s on Moon River. If oh. if the gaming and metaverse will become very popular, there might be some L2s uh, to like offload congestion of network to yeah. them but we will stay there uh, for Skybridge and Canaria. Some of our other NFTs, we will support different EVMs, so you will be able to see all of them in one UI in Singular, uh, eventually, as well as Fala NFTs. So our grand plan is to display all of them in single UI with single filter without like going to another mm. page to see nice, nice. NFTs on different networks. So this is our uh, final kind of end goal for Singular. Will gas fees then be, can you use Remark tokens or are you only going to use? We are partnering now. I, I forgot the, the name of the company that provides a gasless um, transactions on Moonriver. You send Remark to ah. them instead of uh, Moonriver or whatever is the token on this chain. I feel like you're giving me super alpha yeah. here. <laughs> <laughs> so they swap it on a flight to Moonriver, pay for your transaction on your behalf, ah. make transaction for you. And so you only need one token. Uh, you don't need like both Moonriver and Remark to trade the land, for example. You can sh just have Remark. So this is uh, quite exciting. That's going to make people very happy. Yeah, I think they're yeah, going to like hearing I think that. So also. Wow, especially with all the transactions, Skybreach is certainly going to have. Yeah, and new people coming in, uh, they never heard of Moonriver, they never heard of Remark. Now they need to get two tokens uh, to interact with it. It's uh, not a great user experience. And finally. EVM Plus has been mentioned. Can you explain that to me? It's EVM, but uh, it has full access to Substrate and VASM contracts. What does it mean? That not only can uh, use Polkadot.js to interact with EVM smart contract, but uh, smart contract can have uh, context of Substrate and uh, VASM over the parachain that it's in, as well as it can use multi-assets. This is what Akala is focusing mm -hmm. on. They have this concept of multi-assets, so you can um, for example, uh, if we deploy our contract on uh, EVM Plus, people can uh, list their uh, NFTs on any of the assets that Akala supports. So they can choose either it's Remark or it's a USD or it's mm. a car. 
yeah. and uh, and then person just pays with it uh, with a single wallet. So single marketplace will support multiple assets. Wow, mm -hmm. that's all about the user experience right there. I think that's definitely been a barrier. It's been confusing for a lot yeah. of users. So I love it. I've taken a lot of your time, but I very much appreciate you doing this interview. Thank you. So I'm sure I the viewers it. appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks All right. And see you at Skybridge. Yeah, sounds good. <laughs>